Okay, I am entering Chattahoochee Bend State Park. It's near Newnan, Georgia, and I'm just now getting here, so I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. Um, they've got a lot of trails here, and I'm looking forward to doing some hiking, but I've got to figure out where I'm going to uh, check in. But it looks like a really pretty park so far. Let's see what the sign says here. They have a visitor center. But I don't know where campers check in. Pets allowed. I do not have a pet with me. Uh, this is, um, I guess, uh, it's southwest of Atlanta by probably, I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing 50 miles or so. It's Labor Day, Monday, Labor Day, September the 2nd. 2024. Not a lot of traffic on the road, so that's been nice. This is only about a couple of hours from my from my home, so I decided to leave on Monday morning and come on over for a couple of nights. Good to be back in my home state of Georgia. I know that this is a so far it's a really pretty pretty place. And I am just looking for a guard shack or a check-in place or a visitor center or something. And then I'll get register at visitor center before occupying a campsite. Okay. And here we go at the uh, guard shack. Uh, okay. Nobody is on duty. Use collection boxes located in parking area. Okay. I guess I can get an envelope here and I see the visitor center ahead. So I guess that's where I need to go. Let me grab one of these envelopes. This says visitor center, Adirondack camp, camping, picnic area, and boat ramp. Okay, here we go. Let's head into the visitor center and see if I'm, I, I'm actually early. I think check-in time is, it's either one or two, I'm not sure. And it's just after noon, so I don't know if I'll be able to get in or not, but hopefully I can. But I'm just gonna park right here and I'm gonna head into the, looks like a really nice visitor center. And I'm gonna see if I can find out what's what. I'll be back. All right, I think we got it figured out really nice visitor center um, and I am on uh, site 111 I'm actually early for check-in which is at 1 o'clock and it's like 1230 here but they they told me I could go on in this is the uh, actual the, the newest state park in Georgia it was established in 2011 so it's, uh, it's new. So I've got to follow my, the map I've been given to find there's, I think there's two campgrounds here. I think I've got to turn right. And I'm in campground one. Yeah, here we go. Campground area one and two. I believe that this is a really large state park in terms of acreage and a lot of it is on the uh, Chattahoochee River which starts in North Georgia and ends up in the Gulf of Mexico kind of divides Georgia and Alabama for much of its journey real nice folks here so far see what kind of cell reception we get. I didn't have any in the visitor center, but I went, when I walked out to the truck, I, I was fine. I don't know how far I have to go down. I think she told me it was a couple of miles. So uh, here we go. I'll take it slow. I'm not sure what the speed limit is. It's nice and sunny. It's uh, fairly warm, but it's supposed to be a little bit cooler this week. Um, 
high, in the high 80s, it has really been brutal heat back in Alabama and in Georgia in the mid to high 90s. So we're gonna get a break from that finally. Thank heavens. Trail crossing ahead, slow down. All right, I will. One of the reasons I wanted to come here to Chattahoochee Bend is they have uh, quite a few hiking trails and I wanted to get at least two good hikes in during my stay. I'll be here for a couple of nights. So I hope to be able to do that. Okay. We're just meandering along here. This is in uh, West Georgia. Trail crossing ahead, slow down. Okay, another trail crossing. I'm anxious to see where all the trails are. I, I, think, uh, I think she gave me a map for the trails, or a map that includes the trails. There's a trail, trailhead number two, that's good. That'll be my exercise, hiking. I finally made it down to 180 pounds since I started the carnivore diet in March of 23. That means I've lost 70 pounds. So I don't know if I'll stay at 180 or not. I'll let my body determine that, I guess, but it's it's good to move, you know, it's good to get out and move, get some exercise of some kind, and I think hiking is just my, just my speed. Another trail crossing. Oh, and they have cottages. If you wanted to come here and rent a cottage, you don't want to camp, you can rent a cottage. So that's nice. I keep seeing these signs for trail crossings. That's good. That, that probably means they have quite a few trails to pick from, so I'm anxious to do that. Okay. And biking. I believe they have bikes that you can rent. I'm not going to do that, but looks like fun. Let me make sure I can get by this guy, but I'm coming over a hill. I don't want to crash into anybody. Okay, buddy, you want to race? Okay, let's see. I believe we're at campground number one, and that's where I am. Campground area one. Okay, I'm looking at the dump station. Somebody's checking out because they're dumping their tanks. So that's where I'll go. Oh, I don't think you can see it. It's off camera. I'm sorry. Okay, there's a playground to the left. Campground host to the right. Okay. Okay. There's site 102. That's a pull through. I'm in 111. I think mine's, if I remember, I believe it's a back end site. 103. 104. That's a pull through site. One oh six is a pull through site. I don't know if I'm on the right or left. Looks like the left because that's the odd numbers. There's one oh eight. There's one ten. No, I'm right here on the right. It's a back end site. Here I am. Site one eleven. There I am. Yeah, this looks nice. Okay, I'm going to get parked and I'll get back with you.
So as it turns out, there are a lot of trails in this park. Uh, there must be six or eight or 10 trails, I suppose. Uh, and I picked one that's uh, moderate to difficult. It's called the Bobcat Trail. That's what I'm going to go on now, if I can find it. This is the Boulder Trail, and I think the Bobcat Trail intersects with it, but I got to start walking and uh, see if I can find it, and I'll get back with you. This part of the trail, this is a Boulder Trail, and this is this is paved. It's like a uh, you can use, you can have bikes on this path, I know, but the trails are all marked with what they call blazes, little colored markers. And uh, this trail is a blue blaze trail. So you just follow the blazes and that lets you know where to go. Um, the Bobcat trail is yellow. I, I'm looking for yellow blazes. I slept, this is Tuesday morning. I slept last night for over 10 hours. I can't believe it. I always sleep well in the camper, but I went to bed about nine at night. And I, when I woke up, I looked at my clock, my phone, and it said it was, I don't know, it was after seven. <laughs> I must have been tired. So it was fantastic to get that much rest. And I got up and had my coffee and um, came up to the visitor center where there's uh, some connectivity the the only this, this is a beautiful park it is absolutely beautiful there's not many people here it was open in 2011 so it's still got the new car smell it's just fantastic the sites are spacious they're level they're well kept uh and there's so much to do here it's on the chattahoochee river you can go kayaking um all kinds of activities. They have uh, mountain biking, the hiking, of course, which I'm doing. It's kind of my speed. Uh, it's it's just a, a really well-kept, well-laid-out park. The sites are level. The only drawback that I have found is the lack of connect connectivity. Uh, internet and cell service is almost nil. I, I did get a little bit last night. Uh, so if you've got to be connected, you know, some people work remotely, so they've got to have internet. Uh, but if you don't care, if you don't have to have it, and you can come over for like I'm doing a couple of nights, um, and having internet or whatever is, is not that important, then it, you know, you can just get out. It's kind of the, kind of the idea in camping anyway, is to get out in nature and kind of disconnect, you know? So if, if that's not important to you, then this is thumbs up all the way around. It's just fantastic. It's really nice today. It's finally um, cooled off a little bit. It's overcast. It looks like it may rain, but I don't even know. I don't even know if it's in the eighties. It doesn't feel that warm. I don't know if it's going to get up into the eighties or not. I, I think it's supposed to be in the low eighties, which beats the high nineties. Let me tell you, it's September the third, I believe. And we're finally getting uh, some relief from the heat, but I don't think summer's over. There's an old saying in Alabama and Georgia that September is just another August. Uh, but today we're getting a break from it. And, uh, but it's such a pretty area. Look all around. So I'm just looking for a, a yellow blaze, which I think is gonna be up here. I kind of looked at the map that you can get in the visitor center and uh, it looks like it connects. I think I'm on the Boulder Trail now. So, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a old, uh, I'm, a, I'm a 63 year old guy. You need to get out and you need to move. And I believe that hiking is just my bailiwick, as they say. It's just my speed, so I like to go hiking, get moving. I've, it's about uh, probably 10 in the morning. I got up around seven, like I said. I had my obligatory pot of coffee. Got uh, just, I couldn't really catch up on anything because of the uh, cell issue. Um, but I just sat around and had my coffee and then I went up to the visitor center where they have Wi-Fi, and I, I uh, got caught up on a few things and then came out here. So 
a mile and a half. I don't know how long that's going to take. We shall see if I can find it. But, uh, man, it's so nice and peaceful here, I'll tell you. Um, this is this park I really recommend, Chattahoochee Bend State Park. If you can make it to Atlanta, you're not far from it. I, I don't think it's that far from Atlanta. Anyway, I'm going to look for this trail when I find it. I'll get back to you. I always thought I was pretty good at reading maps. Evidently, I'm not as good as I thought I was because I cannot find this trail to save my life. I'm actually on like a bike trail that's paved. It's been level, but that's a big hill I just came off of. I guess it's okay. I'm getting my hike in regardless. But uh, yeah, I, don't, I have not been able to find any of the walking trails. I know they're here. I just hadn't found them yet. Maybe I'll stumble across them before too long. I guess I took a, ta a wrong turn from the get-go. But it's okay. The, the main thing is movement. If you, you know, I'm on the carnivore diet, as many of you know, I have been for about a year and a half now. I've lost 80 pounds on it. 80 or 70? 250 to 180? That's 70, right? Yeah, 70 pounds. Maybe I'll get to 80, I don't know. But um, anyway, exercise is good for you. And if you follow some of the carnivore doctors that are easily accessible on YouTube, Dr. Barry, Dr. Chafee, uh, a lot of these guys, when, when it comes to exercise, of course, exercise is good. I've never been crazy about it, but you know, if you do like regular reps of push-ups, sit-ups, all that kind of, or lifting weights, that's good. But the main thing that I get from the doctors when it comes to exercise is to, is movement that you know the the best kind of exercise is where you move because a sedentary lifestyle is not good for your health it's good to get out and move and that's what i try and do so i didn't get up this morning and do 50 push-ups and 50 sit-ups but if you have a uh, hiking trails near where you live that's to me that's great that's that's moving you can get out and get your heart rate up, break a sweat. I think this, it's gonna pay dividends for your health. So if you get this kind of exercise coupled with the right diet, the appropriate diet, uh, I think it's gonna be to your benefit. I'll give you a look-see around the area here. I don't know if I'm gonna come across these hiking trails or not. I'm sure if I keep looking, I'll find them. I got a hike to find the hiking trail. This is, uh, they, they call these some, uh, I'll show you here in a moment. I think the brochure said that these are granite outcroppings. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I think it said granite. I may be wrong about that. It's rock. And I believe it's the same kind of rock uh, that you find at Stone Mountain. If you've ever, if you've ever heard of Stone Mountain, Georgia, it, uh, look it up if you haven't. It's near. It's very near Atlanta. It is a. It's a rock mountain basically, and you can go there and hike up the mountain, or you can take a tram up the side of it. Here's a better shot of this. There we go. So I think it's the same top rock that, uh, well, I've read that it's the same top rock as there is at Stone Mountain. I have hiked up Stone Mountain. Uh, huge park near Atlanta. They have a resort, any activity you can think of. Nice, I've never camped there, but I plan to. Uh, there's a pile of scat. Maybe I should walk faster. All right. Okay. I still didn't find the trail I was looking for, but I did find one. This is called the Wild Turkey Trail with the blue blazes. And it's in the woods. This isn't paved. I don't know how difficult it is, but I found a couple of trails. The Wild Turkey Trail and the Brown Thrasher Trail. I think this one is about a couple of miles that's what I was, that's what you're looking for, the blue blaze. You just follow the blazes and 
that's what you do. That keeps you on the right track. I don't think this is a loop. I think you just get to the end and turn around or maybe it intersects with another trail. I'm not sure it did back a ways back with the Brown Thrasher Trail, which leads to the visitor center. But anyway, I've already got a decent amount of hiking in already. Uh, but this'll, this'll work. The Wild Turkey Trail. Be back later. This is a shot of what I'm looking at. So you won't have to look at, at me so much. Really nice, really pretty. Nice and cooler today and overcast. Makes for a great day of hiking, that's for sure. All right, on where do we go? Okay, here's a little okay, here's a little view around the campground. And I finally got here and parked. Really nice sight. Surrounded by woods. This is out the out the door of my camper. And uh it's roomy sites, there's plenty of room, plenty of space. You're not on top of your neighbor. It's put together really well. My, the, ne the next site's through the trees there. But this is, this is my view out the side door. Really nice. One big drawback, I mean, there is, the, the cell coverage here is nil. There is none. I have T-Mobile and I don't have anything so if I want to communicate with anybody, I have to go up to the visitor center where they have Wi-Fi. But otherwise, I'm just out of luck if I need to communicate with anybody. I'm cooking a little supper, some Nathan's all-beef hot dogs. That's my supper. But there you go. That's the site. And it's nice and peaceful. And I think it'll uh, serve me well. Okay, so what is my final analysis of Chattahoochee Bend State Park? Well, if you don't need cell service, it's two thumbs up. If you do need cell service, not so much. I went to different areas of the park and I had some cell service where I could send text messages and things like that. But at my particular campsite, there was none. So that's a challenge. Of, of course, if you don't need it, I highly recommend it. It is a beautiful park with a lot of amenities, a lot of hiking trails. There's kayaking, anything you can imagine. It's a wonderful park, and I highly recommend it with that caveat. So if you're in the area and you don't need cell service, check it out.